Good morning, y'all. It's your girl. You know who it is. I just made it to my appointment. I am parked, as you see. So, I'm getting ready to go in. I'm actually 10 minutes early, per usual, whatever. I'm about to finish um the rest of my little wadja. So, I can get them some urine and all that. Cause like I said, they take the urine every time you come to the doctor or whatever. So I got a little bit left. And I actually went to the bathroom before I left. Because I be scared to hold my urine, y'all. Yeah, y'all know, people that have been pregnant, you know how hard it is to hold your urine. So. Finish the rest of this and go in there. Like I told y'all, I'm getting my glucose test done. I'm getting that done today, so um, hopefully that go well. It went well. Like, when I was pregnant with Noah, it went great. With Isaiah, I got a little dizzy. I got to get my mad shower. I got a little dizzy and nausea afterwards. And so far, the flavors I had, y'all, I had the clear one, and it tastes like watered-down Sprite. And I had the orange one. Um, that tastes like orange soda, a super sweet orange soda. So I'm curious to, um, or was it clear? I can't remember, whichever one it tastes like Sprite. I can't remember if it was clear or if it was green, but it tastes like Sprite and, um, the other one was orange or whatever. Uh, I guess I see what I'm gonna get this time. Um, I don't really care what flavor I get, um, or not, so... Hopefully it do me good like I did with Noah. I don't want to get dizzy and nauseous like I did with Isaiah. But, um, yeah. Oh, y'all see this headband wig? Yes, your girl got sit on. Yes. So, um, I'm about to get ready to go in here. Um, whatever, so I can do this urine and sit down and all that good stuff. Y'all, your girl passed through this. I had some bad freaking food, y'all. Went out to eat, and the freaking food, like an hour after I ate it, I got freaking, um, what do you call it? I should just put this thing on my stand. I'm sitting here trying to, um, okay, got my keys and my wallet. Ugh, that's the only thing when you have a push start, y'all. You have to remember if you had your key, if you got your key or not. But yeah, I had some bad food. I think ugh, I have like a um food poison. But I think I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk to my doctor about it when I get in here. Because literally like an hour after I ate, I started feeling sick and I was thinking it was because I smelled somebody's cigarettes or whatever that was outside. But it wasn't. And after I um got home, like maybe a while after I got home or whatever from eating, your girl threw up everything. It came all out. So we're gonna see. Whatever then yesterday when I woke up, same thing, and this morning the same thing. So yeah. So yeah, I just made it to the back. I'm literally, I feel a little nauseated now, and I have heartburn really, 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 really bad, and I'd even, I just bought some new on-the-go Tums that I could fit in my little wallet, you know, the ones y'all saw in one of my other vlogs, and I forgot to put them in my wallet, yeah, I think I left them in the house, because I took the whole bag in from the store the day I went, so I'm suffering from heartburn. And it's been about 10 minutes now. Over 10 minutes. Whew. So they took my weight so far. Gained a little bit more. And my blood pressure it was good. Um, so now I just got to wait for them to come back in here again. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. See y'all later, I guess. Oh, hopefully, you know, in my last um, appointment, pregnancy appointment, they, I was measured two weeks ahead. So, the lady said today if I'm still measured two weeks ahead. 
they're gonna give me another ultrasound so i hope they give me another ultrasound so i can see if it's actually showing on the ultrasound and i measure two weeks ahead and not by like the measuring that they use on your stomach or whatever so keep my fingers crossed because i love seeing my little baby on this screen oh yeah These masks. Ooh, hey, your girl part the building over there, as you see. Your girl part far away because it's all them cars down there. Ooh, so I had no close parking spot. All right. Put these masks up. And I can tell y'all a little update. A little update. Ooh, hold on. Let me prop y'all a little. All right. Now y'all can see me a little better. Whew, about to clean my hands. These antibacterial wipes, y'all. I got these from all these, y'all. Three dollars. Y'all probably can't see all the sun. The light right here. Clean my wallet and my hands because and my phone because I had to sit my wallet down to wash my hands. I hate um, washing my hands with this on my wrist because it dangles everywhere. So I normally just take it off and sit it down. And if there's nobody beside me, I normally get like a napkin or something and sit my wallet on top of that. I mean, not a napkin. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I can't think. All right, y'all. Everything is still the same. I'm still measuring two weeks ahead. I did not get an ultrasound. She told me the last time I was going to get an ultrasound. But I guess she, uh, my nurse or whatever found out she was pregnant too. So I think she had pregnancy brain. But that's what she told me last time. If I'm still measuring two weeks ahead, they was going to give me an ultrasound. But I didn't um too much care. Because next week, I go to get my 3D, 4D, 5D ultrasound, y'all. So, I paid to um, get that done. So, I do that next week. So, I see my baby again next week to see who she's going to look like and all that. So, I might try to film that if they let me or whatever. Of course. So, um, yeah, like I said, everything's still the same. Measure two weeks ahead. They basically just told me, y'all, that this is basically the same place I told y'all that I went to when I was pregnant with Noah, which is my firstborn, and they gave me an induced date. But at that time, they were working with another hospital for their delivery. This time, they're not working with the hospital anymore. They're working with a different one. So they gave me an induced date because I literally had no room, and my baby was already eight pounds or whatever. So they basically said this um, doctor where I'm delivering at this time they're letting people go all the way to 41 weeks. They're not giving you no induced date unless you go past 41 weeks. Your girl almost faint. Like, like it's a good thing your baby's staring there along with cook and bake a little bit longer, you know. But goodness, that's miserable. So, because y'all know Isaiah literally almost stayed in there 41 weeks. He wasn't trying to come out. So... Um, she basically said if, if once I hit, if I measure three weeks ahead, she gonna give me an ultrasound. Like if I come back and I measure three weeks ahead, I'm gonna get an ultrasound again. So I go back in three weeks. Yeah, I can't. There you go. Go back in three weeks or whatever. And I should be able to film that. So I keep y'all updated. If it ain't no update, I'm probably not going to film it because it's going to be a waste of time. But they gave me this cute little hat, y'all. This cute little hat. guess they give it to you when it's closer to your um due date or whatever. But it was something else I was going to tell y'all. Pregnancy burn. This heart burn about to kill me. So I need to hurry up and get home so I can pop one of them Tums. As soon as I took that stuff, I got heartburn. I got my blood drawn. They drawn. They drew my blood and everything. So yeah, 
they told me basically so far during my pregnancy, I only gained 11 pounds. And basically she told me I need to pay attention, watch my weight, because you're only supposed to be able to gain 10 to 20 pounds your pregnancy. Um, each pregnancy or whatever. But it also goes on your previous weight and stuff like that too. So I'm close to gaining close to 20 pounds. I don't know how the heck I gained eight pounds since my last visit. And my last visit, it was, I think, two weeks ago. It was either two or three weeks ago because I had to do my glucose. But I gained eight pounds within it. And I really now, I don't really eat a lot, a lot. Like, I can't eat a big bowl of food because I get sick. I start to feel miserable want to throw up and all that so i actually have to eat little tiny portions like this y'all and that's what she recommend i do eat little smaller portions i told i'm just like i i eat small portions i can't eat nothing no bigger and i don't really snack a lot like i snack or whatever i really don't know how i gained them eight pounds i don't know anyway y'all if I think of whatever I was going to say, yeah, I'll tell y'all. But I did, I'm going to put a little small clip of me recording when I was drinking a glucose drink. I did get the clear one again. Like I said, it gave me horrible heartburn as soon as I finished it. And you have to basically finish it before five minutes. So I chugged it, got heartburn instantly after I got done. And got nauseous maybe five or ten minutes afterwards. Ugh. So, yeah, I don't know if that's what I was going to say or not, but make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, click on that post notification bell, and thank you to all my new subscribers, y'all. Yeah, stay safe out there. Peace.